This video is brought to you by Optin Monster. In this video, I'll walk you through how to create a simple quiz for your WordPress website. Hey there, I'm Christina with WP Beginner, where we teach all about WordPress so you can grow your website and reach your audience. And one of the best ways to reach your audience is by doing something like a quiz. And this is great if you're a blogger or an affiliate marketer, or if you provide your own products or services. By using a quiz, you can take that user on that journey, answering their questions because they don't know which product or service that they need and you're hopefully providing the information for them. So to do that, we're going to use Optin Monster. Optin Monster is a great conversion rate optimization tool. It also does a great job of growing your leads for your email as well as so much more. So to get started, you want to head over to optinmonster.com. And if you don't have an account with them yet, make sure you use promo code WPBVIP and you'll get the best discount on your Optin Monster account. And to show you what this looks like, this is the quiz that we'll be creating. You can definitely simplify these number of, of buttons, but you basically it's a three part process where you're just asking one question and we're going to do like, like a clarifying question. And then they can answer by clicking on any of these buttons. Then you're going to walk them through a more clarifying question. And then you're going to give them a success of based on what they've said, these are the items that they might want to do. Now, this is a very simple quiz. If you're wanting something a little bit more detailed, then let me know in the comments below where I can walk you through a more robust quiz system using something that is built for that formidable forms. But for this one, we're really just looking to take a user through a purchasing journey where the ultimate goal is hopefully one of our affiliate products or an actual product or service that we offer. So we're going to create a new campaign. And you can do a pop up for this or a full screen. But for this video, I'm going to do an inline. So I want to have it around the content that I'm talking about. For the sake of this one, I'm just going to set up. I want I'm an affiliate, say for OptiMonster. So I'll create a whole page on everything about OptiMonster. And then I'll have this quiz in the middle of that. So I'm going to click on inline and you can go through and pick based on your goals or based on the theme that you see. You can pick any of these. I really liked the look of the report. So I'm going to use this template and we want to name it and we want to put it on one of our sites. You probably only have one, so that will be the default one. And now we can start building it. And this is what it looks like, but don't worry. There's a lot that we can do. First thing I want to do is I want to come up here to the yes, no, because I want to say yes. I want to enable the yes, no campaign. So they'll come into the yes, no, Basically, I'm asking a question and then we'll add several buttons here. And this is the first the first portion of the quiz. I really like this because we can remove or add anything that we need here. I want to put this in the middle and then you could use these, but I'm actually going to remove these and we're just going to start fresh with more buttons. So what I want to do is go to the blocks editor. Scroll down and start adding buttons. And what we can do here is we're just going to duplicate that. And then the next one. Great. And you can see with just a few clicks, we can use the duplicate to create as many buttons as I need. You don't need to do this many if you don't want to. You can just simplify this even further. But for this one, this is what I want. And then I just want to go up here and save it real quick. And now what we need to do is with each of these is we need to give it an action. So when they click on that, what do we want them to do? So I'm going to click on this button and over on the left, you have all of these other areas that you can change however you want it to look. If you want it a different color, different icon over here, I really like the way that that looks. So I'm going to keep it, but you can design it a little bit more if you need to. And then on the action, what do we want them to do when they click on the button? You have several things to choose from here. You can go to view and the yes, no, the opt-in and the success are all views in OptiMonster. And so that's what it's saying. You can redirect them to a URL and then you could put the URL down here. You could give it a click to call, which is perfect for calling action. You can reload the page or you can open it in a new window because we are doing kind of a three part quiz. We're going to send them to a view and because I'm having them go through three parts, I'm going to send them instead of to the success view, I'm going to send them to the opt-in view and then I'll show you what we'll do with the opt-in view in a minute. So we want to go through here and do the same thing for all of them. 
And like I said, this is a very simple quiz. So I'm going to do the same thing for all of my buttons. Great. So this part is finished and I'm happy with how that looks. Just going to go ahead and save it again. And now we want to go to the opt in view portion where we can do the next part. So once they click on any of those buttons from the yes, no, they're going to now see this view. And what I want to do is I want to import the layout from the nest. Yes, no. And then that way I can work from there. So it's basically pulled in all of the design and all of the buttons that I've just created, which saves me a lot of time. And so now this one's a much simpler one. So I don't need as many buttons. So I'm going to go through here and we could have just not imported the layout, but I just like how it already brings in many of the features and the buttons that I already had. So do you want more subscribers? This is going to be a yes, no. So I'm just going to say yes. This one's going to say no. And then, so what do I want them to do when they click yes? Again, we need to go to action. And again, you can send them, redirect them or have them a click to call or any of these others. We're going to send them to another view and this time we're going to do the success view. So we'll send them to the final view of this opt-in or of this campaign and then we'll set that up. So when I click on the yes button and the action, I'm going to do success. And then for the no, we could just close this down and just say reload the page, but I think just to show you this, I'm just going to send them to the success view. So if they click on either of these, I'm still sending them to the ultimate area. And that is the success page. The success page is where we really want to showcase whatever it is, the affiliate that we're wanting them, the affiliate program that we're wanting them to join or our own product or our own service. This is where we want to do that. So I'm going to import the layout from the, we're going to do it from the opt-in view, a few more, fewer buttons to deal with, but I still like how it's still bringing all of that in. And then I'm just going to ask one final questions. Like what is their main goal? How, how do they want to get more subscribers? And then it could be something like on page SEO, or do we want to do like a webinar? I don't know, something like this. And then now that we have a button, the action for this is we actually want to redirect them to a URL. Ideally, these, this URL is to the landing page or to the affiliate program that you want to showcase. So you send them, you redirect them to the URL, you put the URL in here. Just for this, I'm just going to send them to Monster Insights for that. And then we can also do conversion tracking that they've clicked on that. So that's a converted item that we do. Or if they choose a webinar, then we can send them to another URL or another affiliate program that we really want them to purchase. So it's kind of an either or, you know, which method would work best for them. But our ultimate goal is to redirect them to something that we're wanting them to buy or call us for or what have you. So we've gone through three different views. The yes, no, that's all of the questions that you have. Again, this could be not as many buttons if you want. The, then any of these buttons will then send them to the opt-in where we're asking more clarifying question. And then both of these buttons will then send them to the success. Great. So now that we've set all of this up, let's go ahead and save everything, which is perfect. Now, if this was an email integration item, then we could integrate it, but we don't have any integration. We're not trying to collect any emails, so you don't have to do that. You can also connect your Google Analytics here super easy to go through the process of connecting it all. Or if you don't want to set up your own Google Analytics, you can connect to OptiMonsters Analytics here if you want. And then the final thing we want to do is click publish. So we want to turn this from paused to live. And because I have a, the website already set up here and it's connected, yours probably won't show this. I'll show you how to connect it next for WordPress and everything else looks good. So let's save it one final time. I just really like to make sure I save it multiple times. And now let's head over to our WordPress dashboard. Once we're in our dashboard, we want to add the OptiMonster connector plugin that basically allows us to bring OptiMonster over. So let's go to plugins, add new, and we're searching for OptiMonster. This is the one we want. So let's click install now. We'll also activate it once it's ready. And from here, you can either get OptiMonster now, or since we already went through the process of get it, getting it, we can connect our account. It'll go out there 
And since we've been working in it, it should already be open. Otherwise, you'll have to log in and just say connect. So go out and connect it. Make sure that they're both talking to each other. And once it's done, you'll see this and it'll bring over all of your live campaigns. And so we have these here. If you don't happen to see them, go ahead and click refresh and then that will bring them over. And then once you do see it, make sure that you see enabled on here. I've got this one enabled, but I don't see this one as enabled. So click on go live and then it will be live on the site. Now, because we created an inline campaign, you actually have to put it on a page yourself. We'll go into pages, add new, so I can create a new page. And then from here, you want to click on the little ad block. You either see it down here or you might see it up here as well. When you do that, you can just search for OptiMonster. We'll click on that and we'll see this. And then from the drop down, you want to click on the campaign that you were just creating. You probably only have one. So then that comes in and you see it live. Looks really good. That's the preview of it. So we're happy with that. So let's go ahead and click publish. And now we can view the page. Great. So this is the email quiz that I created. So, and now you have a simple way of redirecting them to maybe an affiliate product or a, a product or a service that you have. Let me know in the comments below, what are you going to use this quiz for? Is it an affiliate product? Is it your own product or service that you'll be promoting? And thanks for watching.